Hi all, it's Dave, WO2X, uh, just doing a little demonstration of what I've been doing with Node-RED. Uh, a couple of things I've been doing is just optimizing some of my flows for Node-RED. Um, up in the top we have the, the Flex Radio flow, uh, Power Genius, the Tuner Genius, Antenna Genius, the Rotor flow, the DLI web switch, the turn equipment on and off, and network status. I've also been integrating into this the Stream Deck, and that's what I want to show in this video today. So right now we have uh, the Smart SDR clients up on 20 meters, and the, uh, the M model radios on uh, 40 meters right now. So my Stream Deck here, uh, the way I have it set up, the Start button launches all my programs and choose the current active frequency, uh, which is 7160. Uh, antenna A, I uh, have a two by eight antenna switch. So that's set on uh, 40 meters for my G5RV. And antenna B, which is uh, set to Smart SDR, uh, is on the Yagi right now. And to the right, I have pre-programmed rotor control buttons. Uh, right now I'm pointing up towards Europe so if I want to turn around and hit the button to go to Africa, I can hit the button and the rotor turns and you see it update on the map here up on, up on uh, the node red dashboard. Then I also have pre-programmed buttons to turn equipment on and off. So if I take outlet six and push it, it turns outlet six, outlet six on. If I hit it again, it turns outlet six off. Um, the buttons here are for my uh, uh, flex uh, tuner. If I hit the tune button, it'll initiate a, a tune sequence. So again, I'll hit the tune button and it tunes. Uh, the tuner operates standby. You can put it to standby, shows tuner standby, tuner operate. And then tuner radio one or radio two. Right now, client two, uh, which is 20 meters, is the one that's active. So if I were to switch clients, it would switch and show which one is active on the tuner. Uh, the uh, Power Genius amplifier right now is in operate. And if I hit that, if you watch up here, I hit the button, I can toggle it between standby and operate. And then uh, also up on top, I have, uh, again, coming down, if I want to run uh, JT Alert, uh, JT Alert will launch that, and also WSJTX for digital modes. Uh, FT8 brings up where I have a bunch of pre-programmed buttons for the FT8 frequencies. And then I have also uh, a Flex 6600M button here. If I hit that button, it brings up a bunch of other buttons and folders uh, where I can go into frequency. And from frequency, I can hit step up, step down, frequency plus, frequency minus. Uh, I can have a keypad if I want to direct enter a frequency. And uh, bands uh, brings up all my different bands that I have pre-programmed, you know, that are in the radio. Uh, modes, uh, quick access to the modes and uh, DSP slice antenna, mox on, mox off. Um, I can launch Smart SDR, CAT and DAX manually. Uh, CWX brings up a bunch of different CWX stuff that I have programmed in right now. And uh, so that's it in uh, volume settings. And then uh, I can go to my next client and switch between the two clients. Again, these commands are using uh, FR stack. And then the slice, uh, right now I'm on uh, uh, just one slice for each client, so there's no next slice. But this is uh, the integration with Stream Deck and Stream Deck to Node Red. So again, the Power Genius, the Tuner Genius are all, uh, the Power Genius and Tuner Genius are all uh, set up to uh, communicate uh, to Node Red and also the DLI web switch uh, through Node-RED and the router control through Node-RED. Thanks.